Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out some holiday hacks. With five minute crafts, there's a 10% chance it'll be hit and 90% chance it'll be missed. We're going to take some naked crayons. Where's the little wrapper? Y'all stripped them. Crayons look like they were abused by a toddler. Oh, I might have tried to take a bite. Put them in a empty ornament. I'm hoping that's a glass ornament because they're using a heat gun to melt the crayon. Okay, now this is a mess. Look like you try to mix buffalo sauce and ketchup. Okay, it didn't look like that a second ago. I don't know what cut from this to this. I bet halfway through they realized, okay, this is not working. We gotta like come up with something to make it look legit. And then they just painted the rest of it. I feel like this would be way better with paint. Yeah, just screw it back on and wow. You know, if you wanted a boring ornament, you could have just went to Walmart and bought one. I mean, you could get creative with some glitter, put some teeth, I don't know, just some strands of your hair. You could get creative with it. But like this, ain't it. How to fold a napkin for the holidays. Take a green napkin, you know, we're gonna keep folding it into a smaller, smaller triangle, flip it over. Okay, this is too many steps. I'm gonna have to like take this one by one. And it's gonna be like a Christmas tree napkin? Okay, that's pretty good, I like that. Chopsticks. Who using chopsticks for Christmas? I don't know about you guys, but we have like a roast, a mashed potatoes for Christmas. Like how you gonna eat that with chopsticks? I don't know, but I kind of like this one. Finally, a five minute craft that will actually take five minutes. Take an empty toilet paper roll. Cut a little piece out of it, take some yarn. We're going to fold the yarn. Oh, and then repeat 76 times. Who got time for this? I can't just like wrap the yarn around, 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 around. Okay, what are you making? A little hat? A yarn octopus? We making a octopusy? No? Oh, it's a little hat. Wait, didn't I say it would just be a hat? See, I told you so. A little beanie ornament. This would have been cool if it didn't take three and a half hours to make a single ornament. Like, there has to be a shortcut. Surely, there must be a simpler way than to cut and tie and pull each individual string. Like, this is an all day kind of hack. Nobody got time for that. Okay, what's five minute crafts up to these days? The beads were tangled three seconds ago. Yeah, let me untangle them, put them in a water bottle, and then release the beads from the water bottle to go around the tree. I mean, I guess it'd be like a good way to store them until you have to take them out again, but also it's like a wire. You can just wrap it around your arm and then just like there. It's neat. Smells like a waste of time. All right, who's still putting beads on their trees? Everybody doing the tinsel on their trees this year. Okay, this is gas. This literally looks so good. I would do this, but I don't have a tree this year. I can't remember the last time I didn't have a tree. How to make a marshmallow snowman. Take pretzel stick, three marshmallows. Put some legs, wait, why do you put legs on him? Since when does a snowman have arms and legs? Oh, actually, you put branches for the arms. But like, legs? You ever seen a snowman with legs? Olaf don't even got legs. He got little snowballs. I don't know if they're legs. Okay, it's kind of cute besides the legs. What did they put for his nose? What is that? Are you gonna tell me what it is? A piece of carrot? A snowman should not have legs. And if he does, it should look like this. <laughs> Christmas tree? No, 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 no. Christmas dress? Out of tree? Why? Y'all ever handle a Christmas tree with their bare hands and get stabbed by the pines? Okay, imagine that, but all over your body. Have fun with that. That's why y'all have to Photoshop it and not actually do the hack. You guys are cowards. Pasta hack, boil your pasta for 10 seconds? What's 10 seconds going to do? Oh, it'll soften it enough that a needle will go through, but they'll still be quite hard. I'm gonna put glue on them. Okay, we're not eating these. Oh, and then glitter. Is this supposed to be holiday decor? Pasta garland to toss around the tree? I don't know about this one. It's like you literally could have used anything, but pasta. I think the pasta is better in my belly. You know, if that wasn't stupid enough for you, take some penne pasta, put them together, and we're going to make a pasta ornament, a star that goes on the tree but made of pasta. Yeah, at least it's biodegradable, I guess. Oh, wow, you can actually make a star out of it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna trust the process. This might actually work. Then paint it silver. Okay, that's not the best coat of paint. And then, mm, mm. You're gonna have to put that like on top of the tree where no one can like really see it and be like, hmm, is that a bunch of penne pasta glued together? That's exactly what it looks like. Accidentally made hard cookies. Okay, well you put them in the oven for too long and now they're going into the trash. Wait, there's a hack to fix this? You could fix hard cookies. 
They put them in a container and then put a slice of bread on it and then leave it overnight. Okay, what if I don't have overnight? What if they just came out of the oven and my guests are coming over and I have nothing to offer except hard cookies and excuses. So the next day, the bread turns hard and then the cookie is soft? What kind of sorcery is this? Like alchemy, it's like the laws of equivalent exchange. It's like, it takes the hardness from the cookie and gives it to the bread. What? Well, if you're in a pinch, I take cookies that are hard and or old, wrap them in a wet paper towel, put them in the microwave for like five to 10 seconds, and then it's like, bam, they're fresh baked. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.